It's really important to me to celebrate my LGBTQIA friends during this month of Pride since I'm an ally to this community. Hi everyone! I'm glad to finally have a new video up. I'm back! I took a little bit of a break and I just finished my degree for my Technique d'Integration Multimedia, which is basically the study of everything multimedia. I needed to slow down for a little bit. But now I'm all good and I hope to have a lot of videos up for you guys, but I'm not making any promises since my uploads have been kind of sparse recently. Enough about me, let's get into the nail art. I did this hard flag design for Pride Month that was inspired by a chocolate witch nails. It's really important to me to celebrate my LGBTQIA friends during this month of Pride since I'm an ally to this community. I'll be sharing some info and resources you can donate to at the end of the video, as well as some great LGBTQIA nail artists, so stick around until the end. I started off with a peel off base coat. I used the one from Unt Global. Don't wrap the tip to make sure you don't have some premature peelies. I know I always want to avoid this situation. Then I applied one cool black on my nails. This is really satisfying to do and as a lazy person, I appreciate every way I can save time. So thanks Christine for this. You could skip this next step, but I find it helpful. So I painted a rough draft of what I wanted my heart to look like with black acrylic paint. It also helps me when I film tutorials because I have to paint everything upside down, so it's just a really helpful guide. Then I went in with a medium detail brush and painted my heart in white so when I apply colors in the next step, they really pop. I made sure that each side was well balanced and I can always go back in with black acrylic paint anyway to fix my mistakes. So don't worry too much about it being perfect on take one. Since this is acrylic paint, it's not the most opaque, but it dries quite fast. So I did two to three thin coats. These next steps are all pretty similar. I did stripes following the rainbow order, so I worked my way down with every color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I saw a tip somewhere that said to start from the middle, so instead of doing like me and I started with the red, maybe you'd start with the yellow or the green. And that could make sense, so the top and bottom part of the flag would be equal parts. Maybe I'll try that next time. After I was done laying down all the colors, I went back in and fixed any lines that weren't as straight as I wanted them to be. Insert any joke about me wanting to make straight lines for a pride nail money. I also used acrylic paint to perfect the outline. I didn't include every flag because you can apply the same logic for the rainbow flag to every other flag. Uh, I, it's really just a matter of me not wanting to be repetitive. Um, so all of them are as important to me, it's really, uh, it's really for the video's sake. So since I already have a white base, the white line in the middle is already done. I just had to do the pink and blue lines. I made sure to make the pink lines thinner than the blue lines since that's what's on the flag. And again, I always go back in to fix any mistakes. That's what I like about acrylic paint. The final step is to apply a glossy top coat. I recommend doing at least two coats because acrylic paint tends to absorb the top coat. I feel like I say this in every video, but yeah, always do multiple top coats if you use acrylic paint. And here you have Pride Nails! I'm really happy with how these turned out and I think they're so cute, but what's most important to me is the message behind them. So as promised in the intro, here are some info and resources. 
I recommend you check out at LGBTQ Linktree on Instagram for projects slash people you can support and donate to. They also have a lot of informative info that can help us being more respectful to the community. You can also donate to the At Trevor Project, which is the, quote, leading national organization providing crisis intervention and suicide prevention services to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning young people under 25, unquote. Now it's time to shout out some LGBTQIA plus nail artists. First up, we have Polished Patient. She does the cutest nail art, and I just love everything she posts. At Tough As Nail Polish, um, Mike does some amazing swatches and it's always so cool to see men proudly wear nail polish. At Salad Dress always has super cute stamping designs. At Iron Fringe Nails has such a pretty feed and I love all the colorful designs. At Varnished Vampire takes pictures of such great quality and her swatches are so clean. At Banana Nails does the cutest designs and I love how fun they all are. At Morning Star Nails does perfect swatches and her feet is so satisfying to look at. And finally, at Shinigami X Nail X Art has it all, swatches and nail art. She also has a fun Pokemon series. And please tag any of your favorite LGBTQIA plus nail artists in the comments. And that's the end of the video. Thank you if you watched until the end. You can leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell to turn on notification to be sure you never miss a future video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.